Hello guys, welcome to the second video tutorial on C programming for beginners. In the last video, I have shown you how you can download code blocks, which is a C++ IDE in which we are going to uh, develop our C code and we are going to compile and run and test our code using this code blocks. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your first C program and what is the program structure of this C program. So let's get started. First of all, open your code blocks and then go to file and to create a new program, you just need to go to new and then here you can go to the project. So go to project and in here you can uh, find few options but the option we are interested in is console applications so select this option called console application and click go and then it will show some uh, message you can read this and you can click next and now we are going to create a C program so make sure that this C is selected here and click next and in here you need to give the name to your project so for example I want to give name to my project as my prog okay so this is the name of the project what name of the project depends upon you whatever name you want to give you can give it to the project and by browsing this, you can uh, change the directory in which you want to save your program. So I will leave it as default, but you can change it and just note this path so that you can see the source file if you want to see. Okay. And click next. And this is uh, generally is showing the basic information about your project that it's going to use GNU GCC compiler which we are going to use to uh, compile our application and it's going to create two uh, version of your project one is called debug and other is called release uh, for now it's not necessary to know uh, all these things because uh, we are beginners right so just click finish and when you click finish you will not see anything on this uh, window but on the right hand or left hand side on the project tab make sure it's project tab you will be able to see a project name which is given by, by you and a folder called source and inside this folder there is a file called c dot uh, main dot c right and once you click this file maiden.c you will be able to see the hello world program here now you can press control and scroll your mouse to make your code you know font size bigger or smaller so in order to make it bigger just press your control and scroll your mouse okay so i'm making it a little bit larger so that you can see and this is the basic structure of the program uh, and it's called hello world program it's automatically created by code blocks for us so uh, let's see uh, we will go line by line and let's see what uh, this code means so the first line of, or rather first two lines which start from this hash symbol are called preprocessor command there are other preprocessor command also but these are the very most basic preprocessor command and a preprocessor command include includes a header file into your project so whenever you create a C program, there is already uh, some uh, files which we need to include in our project in order to write a program. 
and this preprocessor uh, command which is this in hash include includes the file name which you give here and this are the most uh, important files which uh, we need to create a simple program and the first file is called stdio which stand for standard input output and this file is responsible for taking the input or printing outputs like this printf uh, which I'm going to describe you in a moment. So this function, function also I will uh, explain you in a moment. But this uh, is due to inclusion of this file. Now there is a file called stdlib which is this file and this file also we need to include because main whenever you write a c program and whenever you compile and run, try to run this program your uh, compiler or whenever you run pro, you run your program your compiler sees the main function or searches for the main function in your project and this is like a entry point to your uh, program so this main is the part of standard lib dot h so these are called preprocessor compiler now this int main is a function and it's a very basic function and it's a built-in function which uh, every program must have and by this main c++ knows that it is the entry point of your program so every project must have at least and only one main uh, function and what is a function function is a piece of code which you can uh, you know execute for now you just need to know about this uh, is you a function is a piece of code which you need to uh, you know which you need to uh, execute some piece of code okay and the most basic function is main and most important also function is main now function has uh, two or three basic uh, things one is a return type which is int int stand for integer so this is int int is a data type uh, which stands for integer and this main is the name of the function which is by default uh, you have to give in small uh, letters and this bracket takes an argument and for now we are not passing any argument so it's empty so every uh, program must have this main uh, function and because we are returning integer we need to end our program with return zero return zero is just like a success for your main program so for now you just need to know that if you return zero and if you reach till this point your program has run successfully okay now printf this printf is a part of standard io.h file so there is a function in this file called printf and this printf helps us to print a string on the terminal okay so this is a printf and inside this bracket whatever you write inside uh, this printf in double quotes so always remember you need to write in double quote inside the brackets whatever you write it will be printed on the terminal so for now you are writing hello world so it will be printed on the terminal now this backslash n changes the line which i'm going to demonstrate in a moment so this will not be printed but this is a special uh, you know string or character which will help you to change the line of your uh, you know print now every line ends with 
this semicolon. So this semicolon tells C that this line of code is ending here and from the next line we are going to write another line of code. Okay, And every function is started with these opening and closing curly braces. Okay, So this is the basic structure of a C program. Now once you have understood, you can see every line is uh, starting uh, or ending with the semicolon and it's uh, not necessary that you need to give this kind of indentation. You can, you know, write a line of code here or like this or, you know, position doesn't, uh, you know, it's not important. You can you give two line uh, gap between two codes or you know two lines of code or, or whatever but in order to uh, you know show or make your program presentable there is a you know design of a code which is uh, best uh, looking so this in this way your program looks good that's why we write it like this now in order to run your program you need to compile your program and in the last video I have shown you or I have told you what is compilation. Compilation helps your programs to convert this program into the machine language which your machine can understand. This is the code which is readable by human but it's not understandable by the computer. So compiler will help us to convert this code which is human readable to convert it into machine readable code. And how you can compile your code? There are three buttons in code blocks which is this one build, run and build and run at the same time. So to build your program, build means compile. Compile and builds are same. So whenever you click this build it will compile your program now there is one tab here and this tab also has this option called build run and run and build so you can go here also and build your program now I'm in order to build your program you always need to save your program first so always click this save icon so to make sure that your pro program is saved and then click this build button and this whenever you click this build button the output of your compilation will be shown in this build log and if you don't see any error here you see here zero errors zero warnings and this means that a program contains zero errors and zero warnings so compiler also helps us to check whether our program is or we have written our program correct or not okay now once your program is uh, compiled successfully with zero or errors you can run your program with this green button just click this button and now our program is running and it prints hello world and then it prints some uh, something which uh, doesn't interest us it's uh, just thrown by uh, you know terminal so this is what we are printing and it's just uh, saying that uh, press any key to continue and whenever we press any key this terminal will go so this means our program is running successfully now if you want to build and run your program at the same time you can just click this button uh, and this button build and run will build your program also and run your program so when I click this it will build and run my program at the same time now whenever you do some mistakes in writing your code your compiler will give an error so for example by mistake I left some uh, unknown characters here after my printf, printf function here and after the semicolon 
which are is unknown to uh, the C uh, compiler. So whenever we save our program and compile it, this will give us compilation error. You see error and it's showing expected semicolon before a return right and it's not we haven't given semicolon here so it's uh, giving us the error we added semicolon but still it's unknown to uh, your uh, c program so once again i compile it and it will still give us error because it says error this word is undeclared right so whenever you write a code which is unknown to C, it will give you the error and this red mark where or from where which line this error is coming from. So in this way you can check whether you have written uh, the correct uh, program or not. So this is to check also. You compile a program to check whether you have written something uh, go or good or you have written something which is correct and to convert your program into the machine language and this to run the program you just click this button and it will run the program so this is how the c a structure of program looks like and this is how it works so i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now